Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today short and painless tutorial how to update your Jumper T16 to the latest firmware version. The first step is of course to find out which version of the OpenTX, it might not be called OpenTX, but it's OpenTX you have installed on your Jumper T16. To do it, go to the system setting by pressing and holding Sys button until the menu will appear and use page to navigate to the last item over here when you will be able to read the current version. The current version is Jumper TX T16 223 and this is the version from which we will be upgrading from. The version that comes after 223 is 230, at least in case of this, and please remember the number 2.3 because we will need it in the next step. The next step is you have to go to the Jumper TX website, I posted the link in the description, and from there you have to download two files. The first file is so-called SD card content that you will copy, it contains all the images, uh, sound files and so on. And the second file is the firmware for the radio itself. You have a choice, uh, either to use language specific, like for example French, English, Deutsch, Czech or, or whatever or just use English and in case of Jumper TX 2.3.0 you can either use a flex or non-flex version. What's the difference? The difference is if you are using R9M with the flex firmware you have to download the flex firmware for the radio as well. If you are using if you are not using R9 at all or you are using R9 non-flex then download the regular one and you will be happy. So, first of all, download the SD file content for the SD card. The, the link will be there, you just have to go to the GitHub and get the file. And download the firmware in bin file. And then you will have to open, at least slightly, the radio. Luckily, you do not have to open the whole radio, you only have to open the rear compartment, compartment and while we are here, unplug the battery and make sure that the batteries are fully charged. You do not want to flash when your batteries are discharged, so get the batteries and charge them to 100%. And here, in this place, it's not the best place maybe ever, there is an, a micro SD card which you should remove. Ah, it's always like that, which you should remove. And on this SD card, you have to copy one, the unzipped SD card content you downloaded from the website and the GitHub that matches your firmware, in this case 2.3, 2.0. And in the firmware folder on the SD card, after copying the SD card content, you have to also copy the bin file for the firmware for the radio. You of course have to do it in your PC, in your computer, Mac, whatever, SD card reader, plug it there, copy paste. If the operating system will be asking you if to overwrite any files, Yes, you do want to overwrite. Usually you, you can just uh, copy files over, it will be fine from time to time. Uh, let's say it's a good thing to erase everything from the SD card and start clean. I'm usually just copying everything as it goes and overwrite all the files, existing files on the SD card and in this case work. When you will copy all the files, plug in the card into the slot again, connect the battery, close the hatch and let the fun begin. The next thing is that we have to boot the radio in the bootloader mode because only in the bootloader mode you will be able to flash from the SD card. How to do it? Do it. T4 and T1, the trims on the jumper T16, move them inside like this and press and hold power button. Now the radio booted in the bootloader mode and we can just zoom in 
and we can either exit makes no sense or just use the option that writes the firmware open I copied both the non-flex and the flex and because I'm using the R9M with the flex firmware I will be flashing flex so use the roller to select the file and hold enter long to flash yes I want to flash so I will hold it for the long time it will take a while that's all firmware flashed use return to go back scroll to exit i will now zoom out you see the we have a new super cool boot logo everything booted this is important right now the all the models i had before survived because the models are stored on the sd card and i did not erase i just copied over everything and if i go to the system and scroll to the info I have the latest 2.3.0 mission done. The chance that something will go wrong is rather slim pickings. Uh, the key is not to allow to the situation that the battery dies during flashing. If the battery will not during flashing, you will be able to flash update to the latest version of the T16 firmware. And that's all. Until the next one. Bye bye.